So hopefully this is going to be the last Donald Trump video I do, although certainly not the last political video I do because politics is just as an important part of my channel as guns is. So. A lot of you have seen some of the videos I've been posting on YouTube lately, but you need to understand those aren't really YouTube videos. Those are Facebook videos that I made in my car with my phone to go back and forth with friends of mine on Facebook. Now, sometimes they would respond with a video, sometimes they would respond with comments, but that's what it was. I posted it on YouTube as bonus content. Now, here's what I want from you Trump supporters out there. Step away from the keyboard for a minute, don't go all keyboard commando, and just listen to what I have to say for just a few minutes. And then feel free to start slamming on the keyboard if you want. I am a constitutional libertarian. Now, what that means for anybody that doesn't know is I believe in maximum freedom and liberty above all else. I believe in the Constitution as it was written and the Bill of Rights as it was written and what the original intent of both of those were. That's what I believe in. I think we'd be a much better nation if everybody believed the same way. And I believe that anybody that we send to Washington should feel the same way, whether it's a congressman, a senator, or the president. And when I look at Donald Trump, I see a guy who has been and is still for things like universal health care, trade tariffs, higher taxes. He has been for the assault weapons ban. He has been for more gun control. He has been pro-abortion. And it doesn't matter what he said in the last 10 months since he's been running for president. I see through it, and I see past it. I see a guy who has been for everything I'm against and against everything I'm for for 65 years of his 70 years on this earth. And I cannot, in all good conscience, vote for somebody like that or recommend other people vote for somebody like that when I can't trust that person. So a lot of people are going to give me crap and say, you're a never Trump guy, you hate Donald Trump. But here's the problem. I don't hate Donald Trump. I actually really do like Donald Trump. I find him an extremely entertaining guy, whether you're talking about on The Apprentice, whether you're talking about in the WWE, or whether you're talking about his book, which, by the way, I've read a couple times. Granted, it was back in the 90s. It's been a while back, but I do recommend The Art of the Deal. It is a fantastic book. See, I don't hate Donald Trump. I just don't like him as the nominee to go up against Hillary Clinton because all polls show he will lose. And I don't want him as President of the United States because I can't trust him. I can't trust that he believes the way I believe, that he is a constitutionalist, that he believes in the Bill of Rights and maximum freedom and liberty based on his own history, his own words, his own actions. I can't trust him. What I do have a problem with is Trump supporters who blindly follow him, people who don't pay attention to the man's own actions, his own words, his own history. They don't pay attention to facts and real data that show he may not be the guy you think he is. That's the problem I have. Now, I can tell you a couple reasons why I might be on board with voting for Donald Trump and be on board with Trump supporters. I see him as a guy that is kind of like this little grenade of anarchy that we could throw into the White House, watch it explode and see what happens because I hate the GOP. I hate the Democrats and I would love to see both parties crumble. And if Donald Trump could pull that off, I would be 100% on board with him. Because make no mistake, he will be better than Hillary Clinton, hands down. He's not an ideologue. Hillary Clinton is an ideologue. She hates the Constitution. She hates the Bill of Rights. She hates the Second Amendment. I would much rather have Trump than her. But I don't trust him. I do, however, think he could be that little ball of anarchy that blows up the system. And for that reason, I could be on board with Trump supporters. So this is what I want to hear from you. Are you a Trump supporter that is so blind to reality and fact that you will disagree with me? Or are you a Trump supporter that can see his faults, that can see that maybe there's something a little suspicious about him, but you can see a benefit to throwing him in the White House, blowing up the system, and seeing what the hell comes next?